Hello, it's Solimik. In today's video, we will be testing Clady's Leather Care Kit. So this kit will be helpful for you if you just want to take care of your seat or if you have a damaged seat just like this one. It works on synthetic leather and natural leather as well. I have used this kit before and I had very good result with it. So let's open the box and see what we have. So the first thing I can see is the easy instruction. They always come up with a good idea using picture and small paragraph that explains what is happening and you can see here just cleaning and scrubbing with this brush they are providing you and then wiping off it's really easy with this one i hate when they send you a long instruction and you have to read everything but with this one it's really easy we also have some stickers that's really nice and here's the discount code for the next order and here's some more easy instruction that for example the cleaner how it has to be used it and all these prep and glaze and what i caught my eyes is the horse brush which is really nice they could use a normal brush but they went to high quality horse brush which is really good and we will see that later here's the brush i talked about just by touching it you can feel it's a high quality so for restoring or repairing damaged seat or any leather surface there are a few simple steps that we have to do first we have to clean it with this leather cleaner and then you have to use the brush to agitate that cleaner and then we are gonna wipe it off with a microfiber towel and then it comes to leather prep and the glaze sometimes you need that leather prep and the glaze and sometimes you don't so the test for that you are gonna put a drop of water on the leather if it absorbs that water then you don't need that but if it doesn't absorb that then you have to use prep and the glaze to remove all that protection over that leather and then you can apply the leather coloring bam that's if you have only faded color but if you have a damaged seat then we have to use paintable leather filler i have a damaged spot on my seat so we're gonna have to mix that with the coloring bam and then fix that area for coloring bam you have applicator and small brush and glove so that's a handy this is one of my favorite conditioner cream because it has a really good smell i had a very bad experience with other brands because i'm sensitive with the smell but with this one it's really good so i will show you all these steps in today's video so we're going to be working on two cars one will need a repair and the other one is just faded color all right here is the first spot we're going to be working on. These two spots, we're going to try to patch them up and make them invisible. Alright, for repairing a damage like this, here's everything we need. I showed you the product previously, but in addition for that, we're going to need a masking tape, a small spatula, which I bought in a dollar store. And I will make sure to put this in the video description box below. A lighter, if you are working in an area that it's very close to that stitching. So we're going to use that and also masking tape. And for speeding up the process, we're going to be using a heat gun for trying up the product. Alright, here's the damaged area. First, we're going to start with cleaning and the brush. And then I will fix that stitching with the lighter. And then we will mask it. Then we will fix that area. Okay, the leather is clean now. Now I will fix that stitching with the lighter. Okay, next step is the deglazing. So for that, I'm not gonna mask it now. I will deglaze all these areas and then we're gonna use the repairing kit. Now we're gonna apply prep and deglaze. All right, I did the first coat and it's dry now. I will do the second coat again. It's already dry now, but we're gonna give it some time and mix our repairing and the coloring bam together so we can have the matching color with this black. Next, I will have some leather recoloring bam. Still needs a bit more coloring bam, so it will be way closer than this color. Okay, now we have the closest color to our leather. Before applying, I will apply the masking tape around here so we don't damage the stitching because it's not the same color for it. And then we will patch it up with the repairing material. Alright, it's ready. Now we're gonna apply it.
Okay, I found the technique. At the last layer, I will do a dab like this so it will create that pattern. And if we look closer, the color is not that much, but it's not a problem. It is a bit close, but after drying it, we're gonna apply the black coloring bam and blend it together so it will be one matching color. It's still a bit wet, so now I will remove the tape so we will have a sharp cutting edge. All right, the repaired area dried now and it dried very fast. I didn't have to use the heat gun, but now I will mask the stitching again and apply the coloring band so it will be matched with the rest of the seat. So you can apply the coloring band with the sponge they give you, but I will try it with a brush because I have these lines here and I want to dab it so it creates that pattern on it. But if you have bigger surface area, the sponge will be very handy. Alright, the coloring band is dry now, it's dry to touch, but we cannot apply the wax now. It needs 24 hours, you can do it next day, but if you use a blow dryer or a heat gun, it will make the process a bit fast. But I'm gonna give it some time, and tomorrow I will apply the wax. Alright, it's the next day, now we're gonna apply the conditioner cream. Alright, we are done here. The damaged area is patched now and filled up with the leather filler. But overall, the result is very good and the damaged area not gonna be bigger anymore. And here is the before and after pictures how we came to this result. Alright, next seat. Here we have this seat. It's been used and not been cleaned for a long time. So I'm gonna clean it and see if it's a dirt or wear out. First of all, I'm gonna clean it and for that I'm gonna use a compressed air so we don't contaminate our brush when we're doing cleaning. So for that I will use pressure first. Let's start with leather cleaner. It's actually not a wear, it's just a dirt. So I'm gonna do another cleaning and then I will use only protection wax. Okay, here's how it looks. It was just a dirt and it's completely free now. But I would like to do a comparison. I will put a masking tape here and clean this side and leave the other side like this. You don't have to use coloring bam always. If you are seat in good condition and it only needs cleaning, you're just gonna clean it and taking care of it by applying wax like I'm doing here. Now take a look for the last time and I will do it for the whole seat. And here is how it looks like after cleaning the whole seat and applying the conditioner cream. And here is how to clean and taking care of your leather seat. And if you have a damaged seat, this is how you fix it. Khalid's website will be in the video description box below so you can purchase the color band matching your car's leather. Hope you guys found the video useful and learned something new. If it was, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.